Well, it was a good game. Um, I think uh, I thought we played pretty good, uh, pretty complete game. I actually thought they, you know, I don't want to speak for them, but I thought it was a good hockey game. I thought they played fairly good too. So um, I thought it was a good hockey. Just talk about right from the start, sense that urgency. Well, it was great energy in the building. It was, uh, you know, I think that's great. And, um, you know, I certainly thought we had good jump and good urgency. And I thought we played real smart. I didn't think we gave up lots of chances. Uh, and I thought we did a real good job of that. After the Montreal loss, you guys won three straight. Seems like better defensively. Goaltending has been great. Well, has there been a difference in your mind or just? Well, I think we've been better defensively. Um, you know, I think it goes hand in hand. I think uh, when you're better defensively, it's easier to make saves. And when you make saves, it gives you confidence defensively. So, but I think we're, I think we've been better defensively. Yeah, I thought our kill did a really good job. Obviously, the I've never seen a situation where two guys break their stick like that. But um, you know, and they they hit the pipe pipe on that one. But I thought overall our penalty kill did a great job. Guys really did a good job gutting it out. How did Jimmy feed off of all this tonight? Um, well, I just think you know Jimmy's. I think he looks like a guy who's in a groove and, and he's got his game in a good spot. And uh, um, I felt that for a long time actually. I think he worked real hard uh, with Jimmy Bedard to get his game in a good spot, and that's what he looks like to me. I know you don't look ahead, but you, you beat Boston and you're in with all the shakiness that yeah. is coming on that. Well, I just, you know, this was a good win, and let's focus on trying to win a hockey game tomorrow. You like any goal, but a shorthanded one, is that extra special because it probably takes a little bit? Well, you want to win the specialty teams battle, and, and, and those goals count. And, and so I thought, even though our power play wasn't able to score, that allowed us to win the specialty teams battle. And we had actually just talked about it as a group uh, yesterday, just about the fact we haven't scored enough shorthanded goals. And the one thing AA can do for sure when he's out there is uh, how he, he'll get his breakaways, and he's good on breakaways. A lot of block shots. It's tonight. You like the way you responded physically to, to their challenge that way? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we've done a good job with that most of the season. I think we got a group that's willing to take hits to make plays and, and willing to you know, do all the dirty things it takes to win, and, and I thought we did a good job of that. Is, is it fair to assume Jimmy goes tomorrow? I'll make that decision tomorrow. It's part of what makes Andrea so valuable is being played less than two minutes mm -hmm. in the second period, but mm -hmm. he I mean, makes something happen. He, he's one of the rare players that can make an impact without playing many minutes, and there's not many players like that, um, but he's he's got that lightning speed that when he does get those types of opportunities, he can really do a good job. As a coach, the way your team has played the last couple of weeks, it looks like a team that sees what's ahead and is sharpened up in a lot of ways. Do you feel like the, the specter of the playoffs, both the danger and looming, is sort of well, I just think we got we've got great leadership, and and I think you you, you have and flow a little bit as the season went along. I think we went through stretches we were great defensively and didn't give up much and created, and I think we went through a stretch where we couldn't score and we probably sacrificed our defense a little bit to get offense. And I think now you know our leadership has got this team in a good spot where they understand you take what's given, you try to create as much as you can, but you don't force things that aren't there, and, and that's the key to winning games in, at this time of year. Jimmy was giving a lot of credit to his teammates out there, which a goaltender was going to do, but because it's. Uh, it was seem to appear to you that he's, he's playing better than he was? Yeah, no, I think he's, his game's in a good spot. I think he's put himself in a spot where, um, you know, he's in control of his game. He's done a real good job. As a coach before the game, is that a cool moment to hear the crowd chant one more year than this? <laughs> well, I just think uh, in general, I thought our crowd was great. It's a, it's a special, uh, special fan base we have here. And, uh, uh, you know, so I thought it was great, great atmosphere. Were you You've talked as well? Uh, no. <laughs> You've talked about how this is like a playoff atmosphere already. Does this almost feel like a playoff series? You're playing in a huge game tonight, and you got to reset and play another huge one tomorrow. Well, I think, you know, for the one advantage we have is, is honestly, I felt like we've been in the playoffs all season long. I mean, from day one, we've had to grind out wins. Everything's been close. Um, we've never been too comfortable in a playoff spot. Um, at times, we've been on the outside looking in, and, and I don't think you can ever let it slip too far. So, um, you know. Certainly, as we've got done the last month here, we've been having to scratch and claw for every point and find ways to, to keep in the race here. So I think our guys are certainly in that playoff type mode. You don't have even 20 hours before the next game. What, what's the key to like? Uh, we, we, you know, we worked uh, with our nutritionists and our, and our um, athletic trainers and our strength coach to try to have as good a plan as possible to get uh, get rejuvenated here. So come uh, tomorrow, we've got great energy. Um, it's, it's physical and mental. We'll find a way to make sure we're at our very best tonight. There'll be zero excuses tomorrow. Yeah, uh, Kyle Quincy said he thought positionally it was just the best game out of the forwards that he'd seen maybe all year. Would you agree with that? And what did you see from that? Yeah, I just thought, I thought our forwards did a real good job and not um, I would agree with them in a lot of areas that we didn't give much up, uh, you know, in terms of making sure we were above people. I thought in our D zone we did a real good job, so I thought we did a good job of making it easier on our forwards or on our D, sorry. Was that an adjustment or was that just them kind of playing the game they needed to play? 
Yeah, I'd say it's more that. I mean, there's not been any big adjustments. It's, it's more just uh, continue to try to learn and grow and get better as a hockey team, and hopefully we are.